In this video I will show you how to add a contact to your Android phone with a, with a person uh, values like first name last and last name and then um, and the additional stuff like telephone, phone number and uh, email uh, address. So in Android that's not so easy uh, to do all that stuff in one uh, in one uh, code. Okay, let's start. Uh, we are already, as, as you already see, we have here this uh, activity main uh, XML with those entry fields where there is uh, the ID txt uh, phone, telephone or last name, first name, email. And finally, there's an act contact button. And uh, I will add, uh, when somebody push that uh, button, then uh, the event goes to the uh, method button add contact on click and then this calls uh, this new method which adds the contact. Now I'm, I'm gonna explain that stuff. Uh, first of all, um, when adding um, something in the database, uh, in the contacts database, then you have to uh, to extend your app with this uh, user's permission, uh, Android name uh, here, Android permission, read contact and write contact. Okay, so <coughs> that's the first block. Now we go to the uh, main activity and maybe I show you first uh, how this works and then we go to the code. Now uh, I go to the debugging uh, on my uh, application and now the emulator loads my uh, my app Android emulator and now we first go like this uh, <coughs> for a demo I say okay this is my first name ah let's one first my f and my last and my one two three ah uh, let's three times one and email one at email one. So this is just demo data and uh, entries uh, and there's always a one uh, as a leading uh, number so that I may find it in my contacts uh, finally. Now when I say okay add this contact then uh, the this code in the background uh, was uh, running and uh, no error happened there. And now when I open my contacts, then I will uh, find this new contact generated in uh, by that code. When I click on that, then we will uh, first find, now that's important, we will find the, uh, the display name and a phone number and an email. This looks uh, pretty simple, but it's not. So when we go to edit this one, <coughs> we will see <coughs> here is uh, um, a, a small field. When I extend, uh, open that field, now go back there. No. Take photo, choose photo, cancel. No. Cancel. Uh, back to this one. Cancel, cancel, cancel. So I want to close my uh, my field here. So when what we see, cancel. Now go back there. Discard all changes. Yes, discard it. We do it again. Uh, I op when I open this field, uh, this card for adding, then we will see there's one block which is uh, the display name and behind that when I open this one there's uh, uh, the first name and the last name separately and a lot more data about uh, which is given to the person itself. So this is uh, on a later point of my explanation the uh, insert contacts data raw contact here uh, mime type 
when there is a width value, mime type, and then of structured name. This is the uh, the mime type block structured name. And you have there, as you see in the intent, this in this form, which is called an intent, a prefix, first name, last name, middle name, uh, uh, name suffix. You will find this when, uh, as soon as you give in uh, in the database uh, in in the code, uh, contact contacts contract, common data kinds, structured name, and then with, with a dot you will find all this stuff. These are the entry fields of a structured name. Now, when I close this again, we will have a phone, a phone with a number and a selector uh, of which type this is. And uh, we may additionally type some stuff in there. So uh, there are sev several phone numbers possible, but. I always have this problem yeah, in my demo. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah, and now we go to the email and supported action. Now the email is not given by this because I made this changing. Ah, no, I can't, uh, I can't select it because it's, when I click on here, it tries to open the email. Now we, we go to edit this uh, stuff. We will find here a block which is called email. And now we go to all those functions in the code. And I explained it uh, pretty much because it's uh, important in the code. So here we have, that's a running code. Now uh, to add a contact uh, should be done in an uh, operations uh, list, content provider op operations. That's what uh, Google says here uh, how to, when they say content provider uh, operation, context, context here. Uh, they say they are the information on on Google uh, Android developer is uh, not that intense. So that's why I made this uh, example. What we see here is uh, they say uh, when you have a lot to do the batch method, uh, is uh, by far preferred. So we should do when when we run several um, um, add uh, contacts, when we add an, uh, this on a batch, then we should create a container with uh, operations in there. And inside this one, when I go there, uh, we will say, okay, make me a content provider operations ops. Uh, with an empty list at the beginning and then um, it starts with a with a um, with a black with a black co a blank conta uh, contact uh, and always in the code there is a, if you run the Google code the system will uh, stop because in the Google code there's always account type and account name. This uh, uh, brings up an error on the system. So what you have to do in the code is you have to give uh, the default null there. So the account type is null and the uh, account name is null. <coughs> uh, except when you want uh, to write those uh, contacts from Google or something else from a, a separate database. So now what we say, please uh, generate, make me an operation or add an operation in my file, my list file, where, the, where there's a content provider operation dot new insert. As, so this means insert a new contact uh, to the default contact database so when you when we open in the application the contacts uh, here when we open contacts on the system here then 
this is the default contact database. So we have here the contact database. We open this and then we say uh, in my, uh, I have to hurry, hurry a bit up. Then I say in my system, please give me all values from my, uh, from my front here from those entry fields. This is done here by string get uh, from the edit text field, find these fields and give me the text inside there. Okay, so that's not the main point at the moment. And then we have uh, um, content. We have to add an, uh, into this stack of operations a new insert, insert a new content uh, block. And the content block uh, inside there is a from uh, is a mime type. Mime type uh, means this is um, this is let's see here when we have this contact and we open this. This is uh, this line inside there which says okay enter new ins uh, insert insert a new contact data here raw contact. Uh, with uh, to the actual contact ID, when we have here a blank, create a blank contact, then we get a number, and now with back reference with this uh, with this new uh, contact ID, create a new um, structured name, and then after this one, create a new contact uh, with uh, here mime type contact uh, email and then later this one mime type uh, with phone and as you see this is always a block this is a block this is a block this is always ops at uh, so it uh, these blocks have to be uh, generated uh, separately by uh, always by a separate uh, operation it is the same as if I would type, type in here a number. Now when I type in a number, there will, uh, it will, the system tries to create a new number here. Here it is. So we have here the first one. This was generated by the code in the previous example. And now when I type something in, this block is the same as uh, the system does in here. Okay. Um, so we have, we say, create a new um, raw contact uh, mime type structured name, and then inside there set the value of this new uh, contact, uh, the display name by the display name, uh, last name, and uh, empty uh, space with first name. First name field, last last name field, and then the second one. Again, uh, add a new contact data content URI URI. I don't know how it's called in English, and then the second one with the phone. And finally, we have to run all that stuff in a batch. Yep. Try content uh, apply batch uh, to the contracts authority uh, with the operations block here this one all those operations rup, and uh, if nothing uh, we do this in a try catch block and if there's an error then uh, the system will at least generate a log uh, a log text so again when we run this one when I run it again here running and now I have to stop first my contact unsupported and this one and I'm running it again in my debugger cradle building launch activity system starts and now when I say okay in my third third my telephone number three and a three email and when I say add uh, there's no failure 
and when I look up that stuff in my contacts then I will find this new uh, contact in there so with this uh, difficult code I hope that I could help you to generate uh, contacts uh, with an operations list uh, in a batch mode and if you like this uh, or have some questions then make a comment on the um, comment blog of the YouTube.